Moon. Today, I really don't know what we're going to do. I was actually just did a 20 minute video. <laughs> and boy, it's a big one. Uh, I recommend sound check when you watch that video. But for this one, I wanted to pray. I want to pray that God will use me. That he will use me. Yeah, me. I'm a little old, a little cracky, a little weird, a little crazy. Perfectly healthily insane. I have all the qualifications of... Okay, maybe not. But I'm pretty cute and have a wonderful attitude out of life. I'm also a Christian. I'm a mother. I'm a grandmother. And I'm a wife. I'm a sister. I'm a daughter. To wonderful people in my life. And I am an amazing friend if you're lucky enough to meet me and get to spend time with me. Now, in my past, a lot of people would totally argue with that. Because back then, I was totally not this person. I have drunk beer, smoked pot, did meth, did pretty much anything that anybody could have done throughout their life. And most of the stuff I did, I was... Um, Give me a bottle of tequila and a coffee table and nobody's sleeping. Today, give me my Bible <laughs> and nobody's sleeping. So I, could, I think it's kind of funny that God took who I was, broke down, disgusted, confused, misunderstood, lesbian, bull dyke, you, I, I don't know if anybody knows the difference, but I was the girl who, when I looked at a woman, and being a lesbian, when you look at a woman, you automatically know what you are or what classified you are. You know how everybody's got to put labels on things? Well, let me put my label on myself. I would have been the male of the relationship. Because when I looked at women, I would think they were beautiful. And I would want them to look like a woman. I didn't want to date a man. I wasn't gay. Yeah, you got that too, right? But, you know, I really, really <laughs> looked at a woman and she was beautiful. And I fell in love with the beauty. As... My life progresses on. I've been married quite a few times because I married some. Hmm. I married some pretty amazing men. Who was super duperly awesome in their time. But by the time I got them, they were kind of crappy. <laughs> but I wasn't no peach, so it worked out great. I was married for like 14 years the first time, and I was married like 16 years the second time. And I've been married five years this time. So I'm I'm no spring chicken, y'all. I've been out there and done that and did this, did that, and oh my goodness, I've done that too. <laughs> Everything you could ever imagine, anything you can ever think of, anything you ever could ever dream of, yeah, I did that. And I did it well. I done it good. Evidently, I done so good. Devil thought I was done. I was demon daughter. Okay, I was on the stroll to hell, honey. I was a blazing and a riding. I was happy. Didn't have nothing to worry about. Nothing. Perfect. Perfect. Till so somebody looks at me and tells me I have lung cancer. I didn't smoke cigarettes. So I was kind of confused about the lung cancer. A few years later, I was diagnosed with fibromyalgia and chronic RA. I was still young. A couple years later, by the time I hit 23, 
I had gray hair. I started dying in that crap, let me just tell you. <laughs> By the time I hit 30, I had congestive heart failure. By the time I hit 35, my kidneys had shut down, and I was on dialysis and doing chemo. By the time I was 40, I had uterus cancer. But I'm here today. I am 51 years old. And I have a clean bill of health. I might have little Peter Patters, but nothing, nothing my Lord can't take care of. Nothing. I am here today with the scars of my life. I am here. I am still breathing because God allowed me to be here. He gave me the grace and the peace and the love. Everything. He healed me. It didn't take him months. It didn't take him years. It didn't even take him a minute. The moment I realized he could do it, and boy, honey, it took me some time. When I realized that if I put all my faith and love into God, and I do what his Bible, what his word, what the word of God says, I not only could heal myself, but you can heal others. Being a healer is one of the most amazing gifts God gives you. And the sad part is, is that nobody is taking it serious. I don't care who you are. If you're reading from the Bible, if you're reading from, I have to figure out what that's front and back. If you're reading from the King James Version, okay, I, I don't know what this is. Okay, my Bible might be different from everybody else. But if you're reading from the Bible, then you should know that God says that you believe in Him, you can change things. You can move mountains. You know all this drama that's going on in your life? Stop worrying about it. Stop worrying about it. Because God's got you. He's got you. You do not have to worry about all this pity and stuff. Satan is trying to destroy you. He is trying to kill you. He is trying to destroy your world. Kill off everything. Because if